So hopefully this part doesn't take too long, but I'm not gonna lie, about three and a half beers deep that way, probably four, four, five, five hours, just right there. So, um, I mean, I spent, I spent at least an hour or two just on the Upfitters. Um, the reason being is they're 2012 Upfitters, um, but I was able to rewire them to the uh, correct lengths to be mounted here. And now they're we'll plug and play. And then I have them going right here to this old plug. And so they're gonna plug into the 07 fuse box, like a factory. So we're just basically swapped and put running a 12 up fitters off an 07 fuse box basically. So they'll be plug and play. Um, but yeah, so all right, let me start peeling this tape off and uh, let me get that bad boy mounted. So I'll be back. Uh, fuck my life. <sighs> so I'm spending all night and all day on this harness. This one right here, right? Came out of a 2007 King Ranch stash, right? Every option. This thing's got everything. Upfitters, digital AC control, automatic lights. Everything, right? Except 4x4. And I'm already 15 bajillion hours into this harness. And it ain't got 4x4. I went to go cut and splice the 4x4 pigtail. And I was like, I can't find it. There's, there's no 4x4 switch in here. What? Hey, man, this thing's got everything. Ew. This is an exact replica of the harness I need. Minus 4x4. I think I'm going to go cry. This is horrible. I'm supposed to already be installing this dash right now. But one hiccup after another. This is not going smooth at all. Not because of the column helper. Just because of everything. Life. <laughs> I didn't even start the column helper yet. <laughs> Thank God I need to wire this in and go to the dude's house and be like, oh yeah, bro, you don't have four by four anymore. Like, Ah. So, all right, well, I have another 6.0 harness in my storage unit that I know was out of a 4x4. Um, I just grabbed this one because it had, I know it had every option. So, yeah, maybe we need to go to my storage unit and start over. Yeah, we wasted like 24 hours. Oh, they wasted Axel, so. This video is getting stupid long. Um, I'm gonna go cry and go to my storage unit. So I'll be back. Well, at least I had the correct harness in my storage unit. Oh my God, I hate myself right now. Absolutely. <sighs> Rookie move, but got the essentials. I'm gonna need it. I pull an all nighter, all day on this bad boy. Ugh. This is some uh, Kentucky bull crap. But uh, I will. I'm gonna show you guys what to look for so you don't do this, okay? That's why I'm showing you this, so you learn from my mistakes, okay, guys? Learn from my mistakes, please, okay? If you're gonna get a core harness, this is what you need to check for. So let me flip the camera, I'm gonna show you, all right? Ugh. Rookie move, like I have both the same like 06 harnesses with every option I had two of them. I thought they were twins, but I didn't know one of them didn't have the 4x4. Four four. Uh, rookie move. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you uh, how I effed this one up. Um, oh, man. This, this, I, can't, I can't believe I did this. Um, 
you know, the guy I got this this core harness off of, you know, told me it had everything, you know, says out of a fully loaded King Ranch truck that had all every option. And then um, this second harness I have, I know exactly what truck I got it off, you know, Mr. Stun on Instagram. I already did his dash swap, so I know exactly where that harness came from versus this one. The guy just said, hey, bro, I got a couple harness. You want to come buy them for cheap? And I said, yeah. And then he told me what they were off of. But it was, I, I should have checked the part numbers. That, you know, it, it could have been easy as that. And then I could have verified. And then I should have put a tag on it. That's what I'm going to do from now on. Any harness I get, I'm going to look it up, you know, verify it, and put a tag on it. So I'll do this again because I am slowly collecting core harnesses of everything uh, so that people can keep driving their trucks while I build their dashes like this guy. So, um, I don't even know how to call this guy and tell him this is I'm supposed to be doing his truck right now. And uh, it's, it's been one hiccup after another. And it's not the column helpers fault. It's not Axel's fault. It's just, just life, you know, shit happens. You know? Could have been a lot worse. You know, I could have not had this spare harness. So thank baby Jesus I had this one. So other than that, but, um, you know, it, you know, at first glance, uh, you know, they have all the exact same plugs. You know, you got the same red cord here for the, the, the adjustable pedals. You got them both. You know, uh, you got both the brake pedals. Um, you got both the cluster wires. You know, they're the same. Uh, let's see the same body plugs right here and here. Uh, both have adjustable pedals. Um, both have the in-air temperature thingies. Um, they both have the digital AC controls, right? Yeah, yeah, they both got those. Um, they both had upfitter switches. Let's see what else. Um, does this one have automatic lights? Oh, um, see they both got the green plugs. Let's see, where's the where's the light sense? Oh, here it is. So boom, see, it's even got the sensor plugged in. So they both got automatic lights. Um, everyone got a radio. You know, uh, both have the, this is for that, the power back window. Power back window. You know, airbag, airbag, HVAC, HVAC. You know, pretty much the same body plugs. You know, right there, those all look twinning, so. At first glance, that's, that you know, you know, I thought they were the same just looking at that, but dead ass giveaway right there in English. AI does not mean nah. <laughs> so uh, that that's what differentiates these harnesses. Uh, so I'll, I'm gonna teach you how to read these uh, the part numbers. I don't know if it's right, but it's how I go off of it. I should have checked that. I mean, look at that. I should have seen that and known they were different and should have verified that just by off of that right there. Okay, guys. And then um, this is what I was missing right here. This goes to the 4x4 module that mounts right here. I should have caught that when I was building the dash right here. Now, this is only on uh, uh, usually, you know, like the 6.0s and, and stuff. So don't be looking for this on an uh, old 7.3, okay? Um and that's the other thing too, guys. I deal with so many harnesses, you know, I, I, I get them mixed up sometimes. That's what happens, so. But uh, right here, this blue plug, this one goes to the parking sensors, uh, I think. But look at this one. This one goes to the parking sensor and the four by four. So this one was missing it, so rookie move. But um, I'm gonna show you uh, how to check your harnesses if you wanna get a core and it's in your truck, so. If you go up next to the brake pedal, there's usually a tag like this. And usually they all got the same part number. So like, I think the seven means 2007. That's what it's for. And then they all the dash harnesses say 14401. And then usually they say like 206 or 209 or, or something like that. But I don't ever look at that. I just look at those two. And then uh, the A A Y A is what you're important for. And see how it's orange? You know, look, they even color coded it for me and I was still colorblind to see that. But, um, I mean, they should have the same part numbers and stuff, but wait, this one has a six, but I mean, 2006, 2007, same thing. So, um, you know, check these tags. This, these tags are the money maker on how you're going to find your dash harness. And if not, I mean, they got it on this side written too. And look, they've got the build dates. Look at that. I mean, these weren't even that far off. I mean, we're talking, what is that, uh, May and February? So, I mean, 
they're almost the same date, but um, yeah. All right, so another thing to check for, so I've got some other harnesses I wanna show you some more examples on. So this is a butched up 08 harness. And over here, look, they still rock the same tag on the 08. And look at this. It's got the eight, so you know it's 08. And look at that, that 1401, and then the 260 and whatever. But look, it's got a AEF. So that's how, if I wanted to, you know, get a replacement for this harness, I would know to, to look for, for the AEF. And then when I buy it, you know, make sure it's got this pink tag, you know. Uh, and then right here, this is the 11 to 12 harness off of this dash. So uh, look, it's got the same thing right here, right here. So look, the, the B, I mean that, the B's are usually uh, six, seven stuff. Um, and then 14, 401, and then look at that P2609. So that, that tells me right there that this is a dash harness and the B tells me it's off of six, seven probably. And then BTB. So if I wanna buy the same harness, I need to get BTB, okay? I, I think you guys get the point, but I'll go show you on the excursion. Uh, so if your dash is still in your truck, you know where to look. God, I can't believe I did this. This is wasted like two days of work. God. All right, so I crawl up under here. Let's see. Is that it? Oh, no, it's a little higher. Let's see, we get right there. There's that bad boy. So look at that. Um, this truck's a 2002, so there's the two, the two C right there. And then uh, we're a JR. So if I were to get, and then look, there's the 14401. So we already, that, that tells me it's off a of 2002 and it's a dash harness. And then what you got the P2C, see, they all have the same part numbers, just different numbers for you to tell what year it is. And then JR, so junior. Uh, so if I wanted to get this replica excursion one, um, I need to get a junior. Um, which actually, you know what, I should have started doing, I should just make like a graph, like a Excel spreadsheet. So now that I know a 2002 comes with these X and Y and Z options, and that's the JR, you know? So, um, yeah, God, I'm mad, I'm so mad at myself, guys. Um, oh, rookie move, but I, I'm gonna show you another way to check on stuff, I'm gonna check on Axel. You doing good, buddy? You good? All right, so. Now you know where to find the part numbers when you guys get harnesses, you know. Uh, you know, if you get them raw or whatever. Um, now I'm gonna show you how to actually look them up. So, hop up to my my work office. So, what I usually do is um, I hop on Ford Giant and I just put in whatever truck we're working on. So I put in a, I put in 06, cause we know those harnesses were made in 06. So it's at least in 06 and 07. And they were produced, remember, what was that, like early 06? Um, so we need to get to, see right here, we need to get to the 14 401s. But remember there's that five, so that tells me it's in, it was made in 2005. Which yeah, they stopped making that in 2005. So I already know that these are not our dash harnesses. So we need to scroll down to the sixes. All right, here they are, so, and now, so we've got all this right. Now we just need to match the two letters to what we got. Sometimes the letters don't match perfect, but you'll figure it out. So like, well, what one did we have down there? N-E. So looking at this, I mean, this is the only N. So if I had to guess, that's what that one is, the electric four by four one. So all single fuel tank, electric trans case. So yep, I mean, auto hubs, automatic air, that sounds like, the harness I needed. Now the incorrect one was the, so we're gonna look in for probably a YA, which is actually, you know, if you go in alphabetical, it's probably at the bottom. So it's probably this one. Hey, look at that. Less transfer case, man, manual transfer case, manual hubs, but automatic air conditioning. So boom, that's how I messed up. Or that's the difference between those two. So it's kind of cool just being able to come on here and check and then I can see whatever other years, or you know, or what what uh, what, uh, what all the other 06s had. So let's see if we can find the excursion one on here real quick for an example. So, do I even have it on here? No, we're gonna have to add it. So, Ford, 
let's see, let's see, excursion, 2002, 73, all right, let's see, come over here, hopefully it just says wiring, uh, nope, oh wait, lamps and wiring right here, engine, right here probably, oh snap, that's a lot of them. Uh, so we're just gonna scroll till we see that 14 401. That's what I look for Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Oh, we're getting to 14 401s um, Well, so this one being a JB I'd guess it was that one um, Let's see diesel. Uh, yep. It's got the pat. Yes. It had ox. Yep. It's got AC. Yep rear Right, yep, it had that. Yep, it had the memory package. So yeah, I'd assume it was that one. It does not have the family entertainment system. Look at that, it doesn't have the family entertainment system um, without rear radio. No, so this one did. So yeah, this is definitely the O2 sitting in the driveway. So um, that's another good way to look up the parts. So I, I know this is, but see, this tells me all the other options that I could find for that excursion. So. Yep, hold on, I hear axle whining, but that's about all I got to tell you on the on the laptop. Come here, buddy. All right, go lay down. So, um, now that you guys understand, I've got wire literally everywhere to show you this. Um, don't make this make mistake, guys. So, um, other than that, I mean, all the part numbers are the same. I mean, you can go by the first thing, you know, that usually, you know, 2006. And then make sure you got the right, the, those two letters are very important. So don't pull at me and don't do this. Oh my God. Um, I'm disappointed in myself. I, I fudged up guys. I fudged up. Um, it's not the end of the world though. At least I have this harness. Hopefully this video saves someone else. Don't fall victim to this like me. Okay, guys. Um, other than that, uh, if you're looking for a core harness, man, just make sure you, you match it. Okay, guys? So, other than that, I'm going to get crack a lacking back on this. I'm going to take this off and go cry about it. So, I'll see you all later. <laughs> Axel, get out of that buddy hole. All right.